What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. It's reported that Star Wars The Last Jedi actress Kelly Marie Tran has joined the voice cast of the upcoming Crude sequel. Now, not sure if it's really going to be called Crude 2 or if they're going to have a title attached to it. But, uh, yeah. Um, now, this is the, uh, this is, of course, the, um, you know, second installment. She's a really good, uh, 2013, uh, film The Cruise, which I kind of got a kick out of. And, in the sequel, uh, the crews will face their uh, biggest stress since, like, leaving uh, the cave, and they end up being, like, another uh, family called uh, the Battermans. Now, the uh, returning voice cast will include uh, Nicolas Cage, uh, Emma Stone, Ryan Reynolds, Catherine, uh, Catherine Keener, um, Cloris Leachman, and Clark Duke, along with, uh, along with um, newcomers to the sequel, including uh, Leslie Mann and Pierre Dinklage, and the film will be directed by, uh, Joe Crawford, who will be, uh, directing it, uh, with, um, with Mark Swift, uh, producing. Now, Trent will voice a character named Darn, who's the only child of the Bettermans, and due to her strict overprotected parents, voiced by, uh, Man and Dinklage, she's never been allowed to venture beyond the, uh, beyond the safety to, uh, their, uh, protective laws. And as a uh, awkward and uh, shabby girl, um, Dawn is overjoyed to meet fellow um, uh, fellow teens for uh, the first time, and, and so like true um, Eve's played by uh, you know, voice by Stone, um, encouragement and a journey with the crews. Dawn ends up embracing her wild side and finally finds her voice and um, the courage to be herself. That that sounds really cool. I mean. Yeah, I kind of got kicked out of the first cruise. I, I thought it was pretty fun, cute. I mean, it was like a, uh, a different version of the Flintstones. Like, it had a bit of a Flintstones vibe to it, because it came out, obviously. And I'm kind of, like, it's been a while since the first cruise got released, so kind of cool that they're uh, just going ahead with a sequel now. I mean, the first cruise got released in 2013, and the cruise 2 won't hit theaters until, like, uh, next, like in December of next year, so... It's been a year since the cruise, since the first cruise got released. So, would people still like be interested in seeing another cruise film? Who knows? But uh, as for Kelly Marie Tran, I I'm a big Kelly Marie Tran. You know, I thought she was great in uh, Rise of Skywalker. Um, uh, I thought she was great in The Last Jedi. She's of course returning for uh, Rise of Skywalker, and I kind of want to see more of her. Like uh, I know she's on that um that Facebook Watch series called Sorry um for Your Loss with uh. Elizabeth Olsen, but I kind of love to see, um, like, more of her and other stuff, like, outside of Star Wars, because, now, of course, it's going to be voice, like, her vocal talent, so, I, I'm really curious to see, um, like, to see her part in other uh, cruise shoots, so, anyway, uh, now, of course, you know, uh, Calvin Retreat had got a lot of heat, be like, she ended up getting, uh, bullied on Instagram because of her, like, bro as Rose and Star Wars, which I'm glad she's returning for uh, Rise of Skywalker, especially after all the uh, the crap lots of people put her to. But uh, her in the Cruise sequel, I, I'm really curious to see, uh, or, or, or I should say, hear her in uh, the Cruise sequel. But uh, anyway, let me leave to you guys. What are your thoughts on uh, Kelly Marie Tran joining the voice cast of the Cruise 2? Do you uh, like the new edition? Are you looking forward for the Cruise sequel? Are you a fan of Kelly Marie Tran? And did you enjoy the first Cruise? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Team Movie Sign Off.